Anin, bonjour, bonjour. Hello, watche everyone. My name is Katrina Strickley, and I'm the chair of the history department at Nipissing University. Our department and our university sits on Beezing Anishinaabek territory, lands protected by the Robinson Huron Treaty of 1850. I make this land acknowledgement to remind us all of our obligations to this land and its waterways and to all our relations who call this place home. We are exceptionally thrilled to congratulate our BA and MA graduates the class of 2021, acknowledging in particular your tenacity learning and reaching this amazing milestone in a global pandemic. Congratulations. Please take the time to enjoy this moment and to celebrate. We will start with congratulations for our MA graduates uh, in 2020, 2021. Congratulations to Ty Backer, who successfully completed his MA and defended his MRP, Rebuilding Trust, the Algonquin Regiment at War, July to September, 1944. Congratulations to Taylor Coates, who completed her MA and successfully defended her MRP, Bruce John Stewart MacDonald, just the man for the job. Well done, Ryrie Dirksen. All your hard work and many hours of reading about the complexities of the Russian Revolution, World War I, pacifism, and armed resistance has paid off. You are now a Master of Arts in History. Whatever your future holds, the Department of History wishes you the best of luck and the best of everything that is before you. Congratulations. Congratulations to Rebecca Dubell for successfully defending her MRP titled Rioting and Reporting, Representations of Race in the Chicago Tribune and the Chicago Defender during the 1919 Chicago Race Riot. Rebecca's research analyzes the construction of racial categories in the reporting of a mainstream newspaper and a Black activist newspaper. She argues that white editors were content to perpetuate negative racial stereotypes in order to place the blame for the riots on the incompatibility of the races rather than on racist action. Black editors, on the other hand, pulled from the long history of slavery and white supremacy to write often hyperbolic stories about the riot that decried systemic racism and furthered the Black civil rights cause. Rebecca is now employed by Living Space, an organization dedicated to ending homelessness in Timmins by 2025. And she is currently working on a project that examines how newspapers report on negative community responses, how fitting, uh, to people experiencing homelessness and their service providers. By identifying target audiences, inherent biases, and language choices, she is helping develop a communication strategy that helps overcome barriers to solving homelessness. This work is a great first chapter in Rebecca's planned career in public policy research. We wish her all the best and know she has a bright future ahead of her. Congratulations, Rebecca. Congratulations to Jonathan Plant. Jonathan, it's been almost a year since you defended your MRP on the historiography of abortion, uh, contraception, and infanticide in medieval England. And so what was already a long road for our, almost all of our MA students has been an even longer one for you. So your, your wait is over. You have now arrived at the point of actually receiving the degree that you have already earned. And so uh, I want, although I can't celebrate with you in person, uh, whether your favorite beverage comes in this kind of a glass or whether it comes in this kind of a glass, here's to you. Congratulations to Tatiana Webb for successfully defending her MRP, establishing guilt and innocence, gender and respectability in the 1935 murder of Ruth Taylor. Tatiana's MRP examines newspaper coverage of the murder of Ruth Taylor and the tra transcripts of the subsequent tri trial of Harry O'Donnell to illustrate the ways in which gendered societal ideals about respectability, victimhood, and criminality shaped ideas about and coverage of crimes against women in these years. Tatiana has spent this year working on her Bachelor of Education at York University. We wish her, wish her all of the best in her teaching career and know she will make an excellent contrib contribution to the classrooms of our province moving forward. Okay, and it uh, falls to me to, uh, or I have the great privilege to congratulate all of the undergraduate graduates. Um, and I'm gonna say a few words. So last year was terrible. 
Um, it really was. Um, but you all came through it. You all persevered. Um, they say that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, but this is not actually true. It is perfectly possible to survive something and not come out of it stronger, or at least to come out both strengthened and weakened. All of us have been damaged in different ways by this terrible year, a year of pestilence and death, of hatred and violence, of the discovery of, the highlighting of grievous past and ongoing wrongs, a year too often spent in isolation, characterized by feelings of overwhelming work, of loneliness, helplessness, and uncertainty. But, but you know, you, you students of history, that a list like this is not complete, is never complete. We also saw enormous courage and sacrifice. We saw people in the streets and on social media challenging hatred and crying for hope. We saw people, um, sorry, um, people you, I expect, push back against isolation and fatigue with Zoom parties, Zoom drinks, Zoom game nights, and sometimes most importantly, shutting down Zoom. Um, we saw hatred defeated in the United States, at least for now. And as students of history, you know that this is the way it goes, that the defeat of hatred, racism, and violence is always just for now that the fight goes on as it must. So what this means is that you can, you have the privilege to take sides in the fight, whatever that looks like for you. As students of history, you are also uniquely, I think, equipped to understand the parameters of the fight and its stakes. You can see both where the stakes have been minimized and where they've been exaggerated. You know the results of ignorance, of misguided skepticism, of hatred, of despair. Don't stop reading, be kind to each other. You are not required to accept the positions of others, but do try to understand them. Remember that the world is much bigger than you, but that it also comes down to you. And stay in touch. You'll be out there making things better. Be sure to let us back here know how it's going. Um, and I also have the privilege uh, to announce the history, uh, the winners of the awards for history students for 2021. Uh, I'm going to read the award citation, what the award is about, and then name the recipient. So the first award is the Stan Michael Lawler Award, which was established to honor the life of Stan Michael Lawler. This award recognizes his dedication and desire to encourage and promote history studies at the graduate level. It is presented to a deserving graduating student in history at Nipissing University, who ideally plans to pursue graduate history studies in the following year. The recipient must demonstrate enthusiasm for history both inside and outside the classroom. And the recipient of this year's Stan Michael Lawler Award is Andrew Ouellette. Congratulations, Andrew. Um, the second award is the Smith Award, which was established to honor the lives of Janet Morton and her parents, Bill and Helen Smith, and to recognize their dedication to the North Bay community. It strives to encourage dynamic and creative people to become potentially outstanding teachers of history. The award is presented to a student in their final year of full-time study, majoring in history at Nipissing University, who plans to pursue a Bachelor of Education degree in the following year. And the recipient uh, also for this award will demonstrate an enthusiasm for history both inside and outside the classroom. The recipient of this year's Smith Award is Danielle Hall. Congratulations to you, Danielle. And finally, the final award is the J.W. Trussler Proficiency Award. And the J.W. Trussler Proficiency Award is presented to a graduating student, either part-time or full-time, in each major in the university. And the recipients are chosen by the respective faculty of each major, primarily on the basis of academic achievement. The recipient of this year's J.W. Tressler Proficiency Award in History is Maxwell Peacock. Congratulations, Max. And congratulations again to all the award winners and to all the graduates. Yeah. Hello, guys. It is a great joy for me to see you graduate today. Uh, you <clears throat> have been very motivated students, very serious and responsible. I wish you the best uh, of success in your future studies and in your professional career. 
I am very proud of you and the history department is very uh, proud of you. Thank you so much. Well, I would echo what my colleagues have said. I've got two very short additions to what's been said already. Again, congratulations to all. Just give yourselves a pat on the back for surviving a very trying year, absolutely. And just think back for a second for the different history courses you have taken, um, indigenous studies, women's history, medieval history, American history, environmental history, African history, the history of the Holocaust, and many, many others, of course. And just um, think about what these different fields mean. And what I would like to say, in, a, in essence, is these different elements of history provide an essential blueprint, a unique blueprint, really, for understanding society in many facets. And, and you, so you have different abilities and skills that you take from these courses that you can take with you to many different career paths. And my second message is quite simply, thank you. Um, this is often not said enough, I don't think. Thank you for all you have done for Nipissing in general and in the history department in particular. And thank you also for all you have taught us as faculty and staff as students. And again, congratulations to all. Thank you. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Indeed, thank you for all you've given us. And please do keep us posted on your the next step in your adventure.